Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a man by the name of Dr. Kevin Greenaw. And Dr. Kevin Greenaw is an American, African-American nuclear engineer and senior manager at the National Nuclear Security Administration in Washington, D.C. Now just a little bit of background information on him. He was born May 15, 1956, and he was born in the United Kingdom as a U.S. military dependent. After he attended school in Berlin, at the height of the Cold War, he decided to go to college early, and he became the first African American to receive a doctorate in nuclear engineering at the University of Maryland, which is a huge accomplishment. And he's been uh, a part of the military and commercial energy industry for many, many decades. He's an expert on this, um, on this topic as um, he's participated in numerous congressional hearings and he provided b briefings to members of the House and the Senate committees. He's a member of um, the Senior Executive Service and the Assistant Deputy Administrator for Strategic Partnership Programs of the National Nuclear Security Administration, and he also served as a senior advisor for policy to the administrator of the National um, Nuclear Security Administration. So we can see that he's uh, very knowledgeable on this uh, subject based off, you know, what we just mentioned. He testified at a hearing of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and he briefed the Senate Armed Services Committee on the science and systems of the nuclear deterrent. He managed pro, he manages a program involving the defense of the planet of the planet from improbable collision of near earth objects. So those movies like Deep Impact and Armageddon that talks about meteors or asteroids hitting the earth, this is the kind of science <laughs> this is the kind of science that he is involved in, making sure or doing those studies about, you know, things that could um, come close enough or meteors comments that can come close enough to the earth you know and see how it would affect our environment this is the kind of science that dr kevin greenaw is behind and this led to him publishing technical papers and he was even quoted in the new york times and physics today um, it has yielded two technical reports for nasa uh, the studies of short time response options for potentially hazard hazardous objects and uh, current and forthcoming results, and also the multiple organization, multiple discipline effort developing a mitigation concept for planetary defense. So those are the two technical reports that he submitted to NASA based off of his um, his uh, his science and his discoveries on the on the topic of uh, you know you know co a collision with the planet Earth from a meteor. So this is what he deals with. Um, he has over 35 years experience working in the nuclear enterprise and energy industry and he worked uh, for different corporations and in, in, in many of the corporations that he worked at he was always the primary consultant in the energy resources division he worked with, um, on national energy issues such as extending the life of the strategic petroleum reserve he also worked for eight years as a scientist and engineer at the los alamos national laboratory um, uh, which was the location of the invention of the atomic bomb uh, during World War World War Two. He also published numerous other numerous technical reports on his research activities pertaining to energy and nuclear nonproliferation. He uh, published uh, other papers. Um, he published other many other papers as well based off of this topic, and he was awarded many awards from different organizations including Black Engineer of the Year, um, proclamations from multiple U.S. cities about his work and about his uh, genius, and the National Trailblazer Award in Science. He received his bachelor's in chemistry from Mercer University, his master's in nuclear engineering from the University of New, of New Mexico, another master's in public policy from the University of New, of New Mexico, a post-master's studies at the University of Arizona, and of course, his doctorate in nuclear engineering from the University of Maryland. He also received the engineering certificate in technology from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, also known as MIT. Um, he was uh, awarded, um, 
you know, as we mentioned before, he was he was heavily awarded by different organizations, and he's also a member of the Omega Psi Phi fraternity, which is uh, one of you know the well-known fraternity, black fraternities. A lot of uh, celebrities, well-known celebrities, and athletes, and businessmen, doctors, lawyers are part of this fraternity, as as well as many of the other black fraternities. But he's um, also a member of the Omega, Omega Psi Phi fraternity. But we can see this based on what we talked about that he has a, no a lot of knowledge in this field. He's accomplished a lot in this field of nuclear engineering. And you know, based off the fact that he's only in his 60s, there's many more things that Dr. Kevin Greenaw can accomplish in this field. So um, do yourself a favor, as with everybody who we look up in Everyday Black History, look um, who everybody who we highlight in Everyday Black History, um, look him up because there's more information on him and his accomplishments. I mean, just the fact that he's the go-to guy to talk to Senate committees and, and, how, and the House committee shows how knowledgeable he is on this topic. So, Dr. Ken, um, Kevin Greenaw, we thank you for your contribution to black history and black culture, and we salute you. Now, that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Please continue to support and tune in. We're on YouTube. We also have the podcast, Everyday Black History. You can find us on Spotify, now SoundCloud, and um and iTunes, Google, um, wherever you can listen to podcasts, you can find Everyday Black History. So check us out. We also got an ebook coming, Everyday Black History, um, where we discuss African American uh, women inventors and um, throughout the years and the things that they invented that changed our way of life. And we also have uh, merchandise coming soon. So stay tuned because I'll tell you where we can where you can get those things when when those things uh, come to fruition, which will be soon. But uh, stay tuned for the next episode, and thank you for your support.